The volume weighted average price study within Thinkorswim is not all that useful because it's only adjustable to three time frames. It can only be set to day, week, or month. And what if you want more flexibility than that? What if you want to put the volume weighted average price to start at the low point here on the S&P 500 in order to give you price targets that you can then trade off of on the rip back up post this? That's called an anchored VWAP, and it's a very common study. If you, if you Google search anchored VWAP, you'll find a lot of information about it. But for whatever reason, it's not available out of the box in your Thinkorswim. So what we are going to do today, we're going to create the study using ThinkScript. We're going to create the whole study here in this video, but if you would like to just download it, it will be available on my website daytradingstrategies.net, under Thinkorswim, under studies. Link in the description down below. Check it out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel while you're down there. Make sure you like the video if you enjoy the content. All righty, enough yapping. Let's get to coding. I'm going to studies, edit studies. We are under studies by default. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. We are creating an anchored VWAP. Let's just make use of the plot that is here by default. And let's get started. So just stick with me with this. We are going to go over first how you calculate volume weighted average price. I need a couple parentheses here, a few parentheses, because I'm going to be doing a few things. So you're going to take the high plus the low plus the close. That's all going to be multiplied together. And then you're going to divide that all by three. And then within this same total sum, you are going to have uh, it all multiplied by volume. And then you're going to divide all of that. You're going to divide all of that by the total sum of volume. And that's how you calculate volume weighted average price. If we go ahead and hit apply now, you will see that you now have a simple volume weighted average price on your chart. And this right here might be worth something to you because the volume weighted average price, if I turn it on, that comes with the Thinkorswim platform. Let's go ahead and adjust it to month. Um, is very complex. It contains a lot of bands. It's looking at multiple different standard deviations. It's a very, very complex calculation of volume weighted average price. So this simple, hey, literally what is just the average price multiplied and divided by volume calculation might be worth something to itself, uh, to, to by itself right there. Um, but we're going to create a anchored VWAP today. So in order to do that, we are going to have to accept a couple of inputs. We're going to an accept an input of anchor date, and we are going to set an input of anchor time. This, of course, is going to allow the user of this strategy to decide when they want to start drawing their line, right? Um, date in Thinkorswim is year, 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 month, month, day, day. So if we go ahead, let's start with uh, November. So 2022, November 13th. It's just the date I'm going to go with by default. That is roughly the low of SPY. Uh, the, the recent low of SPY. And then for anchor time default, we'll just set 930 market open. Anchor time really only matters when you're looking at intraday stuff, um, which we can look at a little bit later. Now we're going to have to define when these are true, right? We have the inputs. Now we need to create a couple of definitions for when these inputs are true. When the time of day and the date itself are past whatever the user has put in as these inputs. So we're going to define a post anchor date and we're going to define a post anchor typing is hard uh, time. Let me retry to type anchor here as well. Anchor date and anchor time. Um, and we are going to do this by uh, using a couple of if statements. If get year, 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 year month, month, day, day, open, close parentheses. This is an out of the box function in ThinkScript. We are pulling what the current day is. That's what that is doing. 
if the current day is greater than or equal to whatever the user has set in their anchor date, then one, then true, essentially, else zero, else false. That's saying, if today is greater than or equal to this day, then this statement post acre date is true. Um, if it's obviously not, if it's before, um, then it's false. Um, and we're going to do the same thing with time. This is, uh, we're going to do if seconds, seconds from time, and we're going to use anchor time as that, uh, uh, parameter is greater than or equal to zero then one else zero. Same idea. If we are past whatever time the user has set here, then this is true. If not, then this is false. So all we need to do now is implement these couple of uh, data calls into our actual plot down here. So um, first things first, we're going to do here if post anchor date and post anchor time. All you got to do is say if. If these, then this is saying if these are true, aka if these are equal to one, if they exist, if either one of these is equal to zero, um, then that'll be the else statement. But right now uh, we need it to be then doing this, right? Then do the high plus low plus close divided by three times volume. Do all that if true. If not true, then don't do anything, then zero. And we're going to do the same thing inside of the next uh, total sum as well. Divided by total sum of if if past the date and time volume, else nothing. Else don't do anything. Else don't plot anything. And that's it. If we hit apply now, you will see that it is only starting to run from November 13th. 2022. It's actually not quite that. Oh, it's October 13th. Sorry, I got it wrong. Um, so here, let me show you this. Let me show you the power of inputs, right? Inputs mean that all you got to do is click now on this cog. And from within this, you can change the date. I want it to be October instead of November. From October 13th, 2022, you are pulling the volume weighted average price and you are plotting that and look at like how much more functionality this gives you, right? You can now see from the most recent low what the average price is multiplied by volume, right? And you can see how, how it's sort of respected these levels. Not exactly, of course. You never expect anything to be exact, but how it's sort of respected these levels here and how you now have an area around 411 and a half. Now, you need to decide what you want to do with that area in your own strategy, right? In no way... Am I, am I showing you this study saying, oh, if you buy when SPY pulls back to this level, then it's going to bounce? Of, of, of course not. I'm just giving you all an anchored VWAP, which as I said at the beginning of the video, is a very common indicator that for some reason in the grand list of studies that comes with Thinkorswim isn't one that's available out of the box. So we created it ourselves here on this video. And that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You just got a full new study to add to your Thinkorswim using this video. Once again, available to download on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. Link in the description down below. Make sure you like the video if you did enjoy. Make sure you subscribe as I am continuously creating free content just like this on this YouTube channel. With all that being said, I'm going to sign out of this video. I will. Catch you all in the next one.